Hello. Uh, I, when I first went to Greece, um, I remember uh, being quite astonished by the way people were terribly, terribly miserable when the bus was late and ecstatic when the bus finally came about five or ten minutes late. And um, so I'm going to do one of these. I was so miserable and now I'm so happy because uh, Chris Heaton Harris, who I just said is no longer Chief Whip, and I was thinking, oh, how sad. In fact, I was really quite upset. Uh, he's, um, it turns out he's going to be the new Northern Ireland Secretary. So a major, a major position, a very high profile position in the cabinet. And I think if anybody can deal with the Northern Ireland problems that exist, partly of our own making, partly of the making of the whole Brexit process, if anybody can deal with this, uh, Chris Heaton Harris is the man. As I said, he's a noble, spirited person who is greatly interested in localism and in uh, honesty and direct, um, direct character building thought and uh, saying what you mean and trying to be kind at the same time. Chris Heaton Harris is a good man and I hope I hope he brings out the best in Northern Ireland, and I hope, oh gosh, I hope he brings out the best in Liz Truss. Um, well, there we are. It's quite good to go to bed with a certain amount of hope, isn't it? Tomorrow I've got lots and lots of travelling. I'm off down to Epsom to, um, to do a first uh, reading, a read-through and a photo call for a pantomime, Dick Whittington. Oddly, I don't think I have much of the innuendo, though there's plenty going round, plenty going round. But we'll see what happens. Have fun. Oh, I have to switch this off.